But sweetheart scams often take place online, starting on dating websites or social media platforms where they have set up fake identities. Then as you develop feelings, the fraud moves to emails or texts to your personal phone. They convince you that they are in love with you and you are in a deep committed relationship. Let me tell you something, y'all. This is the stuff that makes me scared because, okay, I know I mentioned like people being vulnerable after they've lost a loved one, but also there's also people that are going through divorce that are older, that feel like they, they want to jump back into the dating pool and these people are lurking. They're lurking. They're looking for you to let your guard down so that they can scam you. 